This was once a nice plane. And yes, I'm very mad. So let's start with what the plane used to look like, like this. Let's go over a couple of details. Here's the end number. Here's the pitot tube. That had me confused for a while. Here's what the door handle looks like when it's in the closed position. Here's the left-hand boarding step. Here's a hole in the cowling. Here's the fuel gauge. This looks like a communications headset from the previous owner, David Clark's, I believe. Ah, and a radio antenna. And this is a light coming engine, according to the aircraft's registration. Let's go into some more detail on these items. First, the tail number. Here are the details. That looks like the pitot tube has been separated inside the plane. How did you get your airspeed? There's the door handle. It looks like it's in the vertical position, which probably means it was unlatched. Did you take off with your door open? What happened to the left-hand side boarding step? doesn't appear to be there. How did you get into the plane? Did you break anything stepping on the struts? What's that black line going from the hole in the cowling to the opening for the cylinders? Could it be a bungee cord? It doesn't look like a crack. If it's a bungee cord, what is it holding in place? Looks like you've got plenty of fuel. If you were out of fuel, the top of that rod would be flush with the gas cap. What was your headset plugged into? I don't see any dangling cords here. It looks like it's tucked neatly into your parachute strap. And there's the radio antenna. So the plane has a radio antenna. How did you call for help? On January 9th, Shaw Bear 1000 posted a video pointing out that the engine in Trevor's flight appears to be different from the one seen in the 2016 video of the same plane. The new engine appears to be a Continental, and the valve covers appear to have been freshly painted, red, with noticeable overspray. The engine swap is obvious once you know what to look for. On the light coming, both spark plugs for each cylinder are mounted on the top, while on the new engine, one is mounted on the top and one is mounted on the bottom of each cylinder. I've also noticed that the opening in the cowling for the exhaust is much larger in Trevor's flight than in the 2016 video. One of Shaw Bear 1000's commenters stated that it looked like a Continental A65-1708F engine. So Trevor, which of these two engines was installed in the plane when you bought it? Or did you buy it without an engine? And why does the aircraft's registration list a Lycoming 0-145B series engine when it is clearly not even the same brand? Oh, and one more thing, Trevor. I found your missing water bottle. It wasn't in the back of the plane. It was on the seat right next to you. There's the bottle top. Looks like it's sealed to me. The front of the label looks an awful lot like Crystal Geyser labels. Oh look! There's the BPA free logo on the side of the label, just like on the gallon jug of Crystal Geyser that I bought yesterday. This shot looks just like that square bottle too. There it is again!